Adam Donahue, not rough. Tell us more about that one. Uh, he's a seven-year-old gelding. Uh, I've had him since he was three. Um, we started the year off real good in Florida, down Jacksonville, and he's been showing up every time I've showed him this year. Very cool. Uh, what's a little background? Where did you find him? How? Tell me about that process. I got him from Vaughn and Justin Zimmerman. Uh, he's three-year-old year, and I've had him ever since. Um, he wasn't going to make an open horse, uh, so we get, they, I got him and um, the one, the novice derby, was a four-year-old, um, and then he had a couple years off, and then um, I showed him in Jacksonville early this year, and I got bit by a tick uh, before the derby and got your lichiosis, and was then I wound up a week later having a stroke, um, so he. Then he came back, and we concentrated on him and my fraternity horse, and that was how my year went. Wow, it sounds like that stroke didn't hold you back very much. No, I was in the hospital nine days with both illnesses and off for three weeks, and then started back riding as soon as I got done with the stroke. <laughs> as soon as you got done with the stroke? Yeah. Goodness gracious. Well, tell us about the run that got you to this win. Um, he was really good today. He uh, ran in really strong. He always turns around well. Um, and then we just kept horse showing, and he kept coming. When I asked for more, he let me have more. So he, he's a nice horse, and uh, we'll show him a little bit in the maturities next year and see where he goes from there. And you've ridden not rough at all to a lot of success. What about them fits you personally? Um, I just cut my teeth on Doc Alina's and, and Lil Peppy's, so they fit me well. Um, and, you know, I just got the toolbox that worked with them somewhat. All right, well, who do you want to thank for helping you get here? Well, I got to help thank my wife for getting me here because she's kept me sane this year. Um, and uh, just everybody that's helped me. Brian Bell's helped me a bunch this year. Uh, of course, you know, I can't be here without the support of Kenny Eppers and Bill Horn long ago. Um, you know, I was their youth brat, and it turned out really well because it gave me a real solid foundation of where I what I'm going to do next. So, um, but yeah, we've had a really good year so far this year. Amanda, it's a pleasure to be here tonight representing Markel. I am Frank Costantini, the director of Western Disciplines. Uh, along with the team of specialists, we offer the uh, various products that Markel offers to the equine industry, primarily of the Western Disciplines. Markel, as you might know, is a specialty lines insurance company with the primary home office in Richmond, Virginia. We provide coverage for uh, almost all the equine entities that uh, participate in uh, what the ongoing of the horse world today, you know. We've had the good fortune of being able to offer farm and ranch coverage, care testing control, uh, commercial auto, commercial horse trainers liability, professional horse trainers liability, and by and large mortality coverage for our equine investments. Uh, we've been affiliated with the NRHA for 20 plus years now, and hopefully we'll be in, in, in business and affiliated with the NRHA and the Western Horse World for another 20 years. Along with that, it's, it's an honor and a privilege to be interviewed by Worldwide Slide, Virtual Horse Help. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful uh, meeting of the minds and the coming together. And uh, speaking for Markel, we are looking forward to working with you, with Cheryl, with uh, Tommy, and all the entities involved.